Hi, uh, this is a video recording of my um, modeling of the I Ching um, and especially the generations of the hexagrams at, at this point. I'm starting from the very uh, bottom up by modeling individual lines and the divination or generation mechanisms. I've decided to implement <coughs> this version in Java um, so that I can extend it onto the Android platform. Okay, I've decided to model the Yao or the lines of the I Ching <coughs> using an enumerator as uh, the type rather than a class. Um, this is because the lines themselves are limited, yin and yang, with the changing lines, um, and I can then treat them as a list and walk through them. I can also associate other values with each individual line, um, and it's going to make um, it possible to serialize the generation of the lines, which will have um, advantages um, later on. Okay, so the nice thing about enums in Java is that you can actually define abstract interfaces and abstract methods, um, and then you can call these methods when inst instantiating your particular enumeration variable or fixed value rather. Okay, so I've put in a couple of example um, abstract properties. These will change or be extended as we go along. It's proof of concept at, at this point. Each um, line that I'm modeling, whether it is yin, yang, changing yin, changing yang, um, has a value associated with it, a numerical value that's stored over here. And that is the value that is generated from tossing the virtual coin modeled in the Java class I'm pointing to at the moment. Okay. At the moment, I'm allowing the generation of the coin by random value. Um, and you can generate either a heads or a tails for, for the coin face and that will be used to determine which line is being generated one of these changing yin, stable yang, stable yin, changing yang at the moment I've got yin and yang in here separately um, numbered 0 and 1 I'm considering rather putting changing yin down as yin using and changing, I mean, stable yin as yin and stable yang as yang um, and just leaving the coin generated values there and then having a simple method that will return um, a 0 or 1 for the value if you're looking for the bit value, for example. Uh, here's an example of how I've done that here. Okay, so that's the basics of the initial model that I've put together. This enumeration is able to produce then lines, either changing yin, stable yang, stable yin, changing yang, um, with values associated with them. And it does so by calling another class which generates a heads or tails for it. Okay. So this coin class that I'm going to show you now is um, the random generator for a, for a face on, on the coin. Um, a very basic um, at the moment, what I did do was a little bit of investigation to try and understand why 
um, the coin is tossed three times, and that um, is a way of generating a random number from a pseudo-random number. So it's a way of increasing your confidence in the random number that you're generating. And that's why the I Ching uh, divination mechanism recommends that, and it's also a standard known uh, computer practice, computer science practice, for, um, for doing so. I think first um, spoken about by von Neumann, so that's something to, to look into a little bit later. So that's the basics of it. I'm tossing the coin either as an integer or as a Gaussian value on a plane. Um, so uh, as you can see below there, it says this returns a pseudo-random normally distributed double value with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Okay, so um, I'll look into that a little bit more deeply at another time. But it's just to test uh, the difference between the integer and the Gaussian generation to see um, how, how it works. What I've done then after that is just put together some very basic classes, um, in particular this one here, and these are test cases that are used to check whether the system and the methods that I've written on the line um, enumeration, enumerator and the coin uh, generator heads or tails uh, is working. Two basic test cases, I'm generating a single hexagram basically by um, looping through the line generator six times uh, and printing that out. And I test both my generating mechanisms uh, there with the integer-based and the Gaussian-based um, random number generator. Uh, these will later on be expanded to, to include other methods of, of generating the coins. Okay, so that's about it. I'm going to run the little test for you now, and you will see over here the basic details of uh, which lines are being generated. Let's give that a go. Okay, there's the output, and you can see over here which lines have been generated, whether they're changing, and what the face value of the coin was um, in the generation. From here, what I'm going to do is now go and look at putting together classes for mapping these to these generated lines to bigrams and trigrams, as well as hexagrams. Uh, once I've, I've got that, I can then uh, spit out basic interpretations for these that are mapped uh, to those uh, different uh, bigrams, trigrams, and hexagrams. Uh, so that's about it for now. This is my first use of the tool uh, for recording, so uh, we'll see how this has gone.